I need to make mention to you for the first time, we are live streaming this event and there will be many parents and indeed friends of the college who will be viewing this assembly as it progresses and that is a first for us so we are a part of history today. Gentlemen, it is a busy assembly, it is an important assembly and I would ask for your cooperation as we make our way through the running order. Gentlemen, please stand in silence for the headmaster. Thank you, Mr Thompson. Good afternoon, colleagues. Good afternoon, gentlemen. A very warm welcome to our special guest to this today's Year 12 Final Assembly. Seniors, my how quickly time passes. Welcome to your Final Assembly. Before we begin today's Special Assembly, however, I would, as the Deputy Headmaster has already done, like to thank you boys for the parts that you played in making speech night last night such a memorable event. The musical performances and the speeches were outstanding and your behaviour was exemplary. Occasionally, things go wrong. And I want to say to Philip Yateman that your composure in the face of adversity was truly magnificent. Well done. Now let us begin today's special assembly and we will commence with the singing of the hymn, God Gives Us a Future. God gives us a future. Would you please be seated? I now invite our college captain for 2015, Alex Russell, to bring this afternoon's reading. This afternoon's reading comes from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 to 14. But you, men of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and when you made your good confessions in the presence of many witnesses. In the sight of God, who gives life to everything, and of Christ Jesus, who will testify before Pontius Pilate, made the good confession, I charge you, to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Over the course of history, there are what we call transitions. Unique times where one group or one individual hands over leadership to others. The letter that Alex has read in Paul's letter is a final letter, a final word uh, that is passed on to Timothy. And probably the simplest example that I can give you is the example of John the Baptist. When John the Baptist is asked a question 
He says this about Jesus. He says, I must decrease and he must increase. Gentlemen, do not miss the significance of this assembly because something deeply significant occurs today. We are not farewelling our seniors today in one sense, though this is their last assembly. But what we are experiencing today is a transition of leadership, a handover, a changing of the guard. And this will happen throughout our lives. Today we acknowledge too the unique contribution of our school sergeant Mick Lechnick, who has ha already handed over to our new sergeant Trevor Evans. Handovers are part of life. And today we will have our school vice captain leading us in a prayer of relinquishment as he prays on behalf of the seniors for the year 11 students as they take up the mantle of leadership that God has now placed upon you. I'd now like to invite James Aldridge to come forward to pray. Could we all please bow our heads in prayer? Lord, we thank you for the year that is passing and for the privilege that we, as seniors, have had in being leaders of the college in 2015. As we relinquish those responsibilities over the next week, we ask that your wisdom and strength be with the 2016 seniors as they step up to lead with passion and pride. We thank you too, O oh God, for the uncertain and yet exciting adventure that lies ahead of us as this chapter of our life begins to close. May your hand be upon us in this change. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. It's now my great pleasure to invite our 2014 college captain, Eddie Joe, to address the assembly. Good afternoon, headmaster, distinguished guests, staff, parents, fellow old boys, and of course, men of Brisbane Boys College. As I stand here today, I realise this is quite an exciting time for all of you. For the grade 10s and 11s, it marks really the end of another year, as I look forward to leading the schools in, their, in the school in, the pen, in their penultimate and their final years, respectively. For the grade 12s, this is truly an emotional time, for it marks the end of 12 long years of schooling. I'm sure you'd all agree with me when I said, man, this year's gone by so quickly. When Mr Turner asked me to speak to you all today, I could hardly believe that it had already been a year since I sat here where the white shirt sit, about to finish my um, final year of schooling. Looking back on it now, I remember feeling many mixed emotions, most of which were eagerness and excitement to put this all behind me. But a small part of me also felt sadness and nervousness to what the future had in store. But having gone through this past year, can I assure you that there is so much to look forward to in the life beyond BBC. Seniors, in a few weeks you'll be celebrating the end of your schooling career, whether that be down the coast, abroad or at home. The few months that will follow will be some of the most enjoyable months of your life. You'll have plenty of opportunities to see your friends and your family, and I'm sure that many good memories will be made. But like all good things, this must, unfortunately, come to an end. Come early next year, you'll return to the routine of university, TAFE, work, or whatever it is you'll have to do after school. This is not to say that there is no fun to be had during this time. If you love sports, there will be plenty of sports scenes for you to join. If you love music, plenty of bands. No matter, what, uh, no matter what you love, there is something for you to do. But even more so than school, you only get out what you're willing to put in. But if there's one negative that I've heard time and time again from people not only in my grade but in the grade above, it's probably that they miss the boys or they miss the unity. Seeing your friends five days a week is a luxury that you only really get at school. A luxury that many, including myself, take for granted. With our own commitments and our own goals, 
we get fewer and fewer opportunities to see our friends as the years go on. But the thing about BBC is that it's not a school that simply discards you once you graduate. Rather, it's a school that will always have its arms open to you. And once you graduate, seniors, you will become a lifetime member of the Old Collegians Association. At its most basic level, the OCA provides a way for old boys of all ages to connect and reconnect. It's an opportunity to see your mates. Only a few weeks ago did I attend uh, an old boys function catered towards the younger old boys at the Alliance Hotel. And I found that, thought it was a fantastic time. I had the opportunity to see friends that I hadn't seen in a while, and even though we were only a year out, we were, found ourselves reminiscing on some good times at school. But of course, how involved you are on the OCA is completely up to you. I'm sure most of you will know someone, an old boy, who has coached you in whatever sport or been involved in music in some way or whatever it is. And some of you will have had mentors that have guided you as you've made some pretty important decisions. As old boys, you will have the opportunity to do much of the same. And I really urge you to do this because it's a good way to give back to the school and it's very rewarding and most of all, it's a lot of fun. But of course, if you never want anything to do with the old collegiate association, it's completely fine. But I urge you to remember that its doors, much like the doors of the school, are always open to you. In closing, I would like to say to the students returning next year, make the most of your time at BBC, for it's very, very short. You don't want to leave the school with any regrets at all. To the seniors, congratulations on a job well done. Finishing grade 12 is no mean feat, and the way that you've done it is another feat in itself. Enjoy the next few weeks, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Eddie. And now I'm inviting our school sergeant, Mr Mick Lechning, to address us all for the last time. Thank you, Headmaster. Uh, thank you, fellas. Uh, thank you to you seniors of 2015 for allowing me to use up a bit of your time in your special last assembly. Uh, everybody's talked about time today, and I think when you reflect, when you start getting to my age, you start to want more time. And I wish I had more time and had more time at BBC. 14 years doesn't seem to be long enough. 15 years ago, when I went to the doctor and he told me as a soldier that literally my career was over, I went through the normal uh, emotions, anger, and then I picked myself off the floor, gave myself an uppercut, and said, everybody leaves the army unless you get shot or blown to bits. You, everybody gets to leave the army. The key is to leave it when it's your time and your choosing. And I was able to do that. And I think I was the luckiest man in the world because within no time at all, I picked up the newspaper and there was this job description and it had my name on it. And I felt it had my name on it. And when I rang a lady who had been helping me to prepare myself for civilian life, she said to me, I read that on Saturday and if you hadn't rung me by 9 o'clock today, I was going to ring you at 9.01 because that job had your name written on it. And I'm glad that I actually then followed that because what I found was leaving the army as a family I joined another family. It took me a little while to find my feet. I butted heads with quite a few people. But as normal, the family has disagreements, squabbles, but then we make up because at the end of the day, we all care for each other. And for that, I thank you very much. I think BBC is a wonderful family and we do truly care for each other. And we will do what it takes to look after each other. And I think I've seen that enough in the playground to know, and in the staff room, that we truly do that. I have been extremely lucky not just to be able to watch you young men today grow from coming to BBC in shorts or the start of year seven and eight to grow into the fine young men you are. I've made a lot of friends, not just in the staff room. I've been lucky enough to be able to go on battlefield tours to walk the Kokoda Trek with 
some boys and their fathers, which was a fantastic experience. It's been a wonderful time at BBC, and when I was asked to come and say goodbye, it really tore at me because I thought, why am I saying goodbye? And then I went back speaking to my wife, and she reminded me in 2011, on our last day in Paris on my long service leave, I hadn't seen any students. And there we were, getting a baguette for lunch, and from behind me I heard a voice say, G'day, Sarge. <laughs> and I turned around, and it was two BBC old boys. And my wife turned to me and she said, You'll never leave BBC because you'll never leave the boys. I hope that's true because I know with me it's true because when I see these young men that sit behind today or in front of you today, Eddie, we never say goodbye. We see each other, we greet each other, we exchange stories about our lives and we go on. And the next time we do, we'll do exactly the same. I thank you for your cooperation. I urge you to keep a positive frame of mind. You young men who are about to leave today, or sorry, in a couple of weeks' time, you go out in a big wide world. Stay positive. I'm staying positive. I don't know what will happen in the next couple of years. But as a door opened for me when I left the army into BBC, I'm sure a door will open when I leave BBC. I do intend to keep in touch, and if I see you in a shopping centre, you don't say hello to me, okay? Don't turn your back on me. You're going to get a clip in the ear. <laughs> if you're doing the wrong thing, you might still get a clip in the ear. But anyway, fellas, to you, Year 12s, good luck for your future. For the rest of you, you've seen the standard that's been set by the Year 12s this year. That is your standard that we look forward to you maintaining at BBC. I will not say goodbye to you. I will just say, see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. And in the words of a former French teacher, no, we will not say goodbye. We will say au revoir till we meet again. And now, gentlemen, the school sergeant will leave us and we will farewell him in the traditional manner. And now we move to the Year 12 Leavers Assembly in a formal way, and I call on the new president of the Old Collegians Association and the 1999 college captain, Mr Chris Hartley. Gentlemen, before we commence, I want to reiterate Rev's words about transition. This is an important moment for our Year 12s and it symbolically represents their transition from current students to old boys. I'd ask our Year 12 students to take this opportunity to reflect on the times that they've had in the Assembly Hall, the opportunities to reflect on their individual achievements, but just as importantly on the achievements of their cohort. Boys in year 11 and 10, I'd ask that you use this time to sit in silence and respect the contribution that our year 12s have made to us. But I would also encourage you to reflect on what it is you wish to achieve over the next year or two of your schooling. 
When I read each boy's name, he will come forward. He'll be presented with his old boy cap from the headmaster and from Mr Chris Hartley as president of the Old Boys Association. That boy will then leave the assembly hall for the last time and make his way down to the Old Collegians Pavilion where we will share him lunch. So, gentlemen, Fabio Cavello. Tarquin Davenport Manners. Lachlan Dixon. Rudra Dorerajan. William Duncan. Trevor Edwards. Ryan Fairweather. Thomas Hines. Su Yang Hu. Lachlan Hughes. Angus Jennings. Corey Johnson. Samuel Kelly. Richard Kim. Jamie Kim. Michael Lowe. Joseph McCarrison. Sean McMillan. Rory Milne. Lachlan Otto. Bailey Paddies. Theva Kuma. Sathanan Anthon. William Anderson. Patrick Agay. Matthew Burnt. Nicholas Clark. Corey Clark. Thomas Crook. Robert Dobking. Ewan Eben. Lewis Edwards. Zach Hartman. Jonathan Hines. Hides, sorry, Jono. Jack Hill. James Jarvis. Max McDonald. Hugh McPhee. Alexander Norman. Billy Perriton. Charlie Pursehouse. Declan Robertson. Alastair Stewart. Jack Versace. Raymond Arabeo. Jack Ash. James Bryant. Lachlan Cardiff. Rowan Gardner. Harry Humphreys. Robert Koppel. Liam Lafferty. Alexander Lawler. Guy Laws. Lawrence Lee. Harsha Lingutla. Leon McAdam. Callan Myers Young. Callan Moore. Benjamin Pavlovsky. William Pesca. Zach Penner. Jesse Fanau Paluka. Samuel Rasmussen. 
Joseph Savage, Christopher Sorensen, William Starkey, James Stevens, Darcy Tamua Swain, William Valmadre, Akila Vilath Gamua, Angus Wood, Samuel Burge, Hugh Brereton, Gianni Cabani, Pierce Court, Lachlan Craig, Jared Edwardson, William Egerton, Hugh Evans, Matthew Forbes, Fergus Galloway, Devonick Gandhi, Andrew Gordon, James King Christopher, Hamish Leggett, Ryan McNichol, Sam Mills, Timothy Mulday, Nicholas Pedler, Luke Penn, Matthew Sparrow, Max Van Dyke, Llewellyn Varnfield, Ryan Whitehouse, Matthew Bell, Jack Breeding, Brian Chen, Charlie Corrigan, Luke Fern, Harold Finucan, Alexander Goldman, Mitchell Grimmond, Thomas Knight, Thomas Coolbar, Kevin Lee, Jack Levis, Justin Matricus, Matthew Nagel, Ruri Peck, Peter Sheptua, Michael Silva, Naresh Sinathambi, Angus Thorborn, Ben Wilcox, Charlie Wyatt, Ben Zhu, Samuel Arkell, Harrison Case, Liam Clarkson, Thomas Edwards, Harrison Grasby, Davis Lanham, Liam Lurs, Thomas Moore, Nicholas Porter, Liam Porter, Lachlan Pressland, Aaron Rayburn, Sam Reed, Mark Silla, Kobe Smithers, Campbell Starkey, Andrew Sue, 
Iron Tie. Iron Tether. Oliver Wolf. Zachary Wommel. Chris Yang. Andrew Armstrong. Joshua Batar. Sam Chen. Connor Christensen. Putra Christian. Fraser Cotton. Nate Dennis. Zhe Dong. Mitchell Elliott. Jamal Esaku. Jack Farrell. Jonathan Fordyce. Lachlan Folds. Benjamin Gunter. Hugo Hurst. Ulysses Holloway. Luke Kelly. Daniel Kurz. Tristan Latcham. Angus Moylan. Lachlan Munro. Jaden Namanu. Brandon Nee. Francis Njau. Tiontan Rayoran. Felipe Ray. Darcy Roper. Ryan Scott Maguire. Johnny Seabrook. Benjamin Shrimpton. Ben Simpson. Adam Simpson. Eden Smith. Elisha Tamoy. Eamon Ewer. Chris Verivis. Mitchell Wilson. Sean Yarpo. Leon Yateman. Philip Yateman. Jack Austin. Harry Bates. Jack Biddle. Christian Boscani. Isaac Brown. Nathaniel Cummins. Thomas Edgecombe. Andrew Finney. Peter Grant. Matthew Heath. Jamie Ivers. Alessio Kratzman. Mitchell Large. Brian Lee. Nicholas Liddy. Thomas Liddy. Patrick McLennan. Jack Middleton. Raymond Mogg. Matthew Rose. Nicholas Swinborn. Samuel Webb. Benjamin Whelan. Stephen Winberger. Damien Bradfett. Joseph Colbrook. Benjamin Corbett. 
James Crutchley. Knox Dobson. Declan Gamak. Rishaba Gandhi. Timothy Gray. Oliver Hewlett. Sam Israel. Gabrielle Leslie. Dylan Manson. Elliot Mitchell. Lockie Nichols. Harrison Perkins. Ben Renison. Thomas Smith. Dane Stokes. Callum Strachan. Jasper Van Lint. Samuel Vorhe. Daniel Wall. Gentlemen, I have two more names to read and I'd ask you at the conclusion to me reading those names that we would show our respect to our senior cohorts and to our captain and vice-captain for 2015. Our vice-captain, James Aldridge, and our captain, Alex Russell. very special moment in time. Boys have made a fantastic contribution to the college and for those who remain boys you've seen the standard that's been set and that's what you must aspire to or even surpass. And now we will move down to have lunch with the year 12s but I would like to have our special guests stand and leave the assembly and to be honoured with the applause from the whole assembly. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll pass over to the Deputy Headmaster. Thank you, Headmaster. Gentlemen, I'd like to congratulate you on your conduct through that assembly. That is a special moment for Year 12s, and it will not be that long until you are involved.